We're gonna have to skip the usual introduction because I have a lot to say about this game. So, is Titanfall 2 worth it? Let's find out. For all of its inventive additions to the genre, Titanfall 2 feels spiritually aligned with early first-person shooters. It's a game that values blistering speed and pulse-quickening explosions, close escapes, and brutal slayings. From a distance, this might appear to be a relentless bombardment of flashy visuals, but dig a little deeper and you'll discover the remarkably thoughtful and nuanced design, packed with creative challenges and expressive controls. Titanfall 2 successfully blends visceral action with satisfying customization. Unlike its predecessor, Titanfall 2 includes a 5-hour campaign Pain. Players take control of Jack Cooper, an inexperienced Melissa soldier stationed on planet Titan. But when his entire platoon is overwhelmed by corporate mercenaries, Jack is left stranded in enemy territory. Luckily for him, he's not alone, as the veteran mech suit BT-7274 has also survived. Now the gifted rifleman and the wise AI must work as one to reunite with friendly forces and uncover the corporation's secret weapon. While the campaign is notably short, its initial missions can feel a bit slow. Though this relaxed pace is meant to ease players into the wall running and Titan piloting systems, the straightforward objectives are tedious. Thankfully, when it does kick off, it never lets up, with aggressive Titan boss battles and high-altitude platforming. The highlight of the single-player campaign comes midway through, when Jack is trapped in a temporal flux, bouncing from a facility's pristine past to its destructive present with the tap of a button. Skipping from time periods to remove wreckage and access parkour avenues is both exhilarating and inspired. Despite its deeply linear progression, the constant introduction of new equipment, environments, and mech upgrades keep the campaign fresh, equaling the spectacle of mech combat with the swift pilot traversal. Even the developing relationship between Cooper and BT is surprisingly effective. While many of the story beats are forgettable and the actual context of the war is left unmentioned, Titanfall 2's loose but entertaining narrative complements the diverse single-player experience. But the best display of the core mechanics is in the sublime multiplayer modes, each of which are an interesting twist on familiar match types. Even the traditional deathmatch, known as attrition, features dozens of simple AI opponents littered throughout the sizable maps. Though killing them provides minuscule points, their pack mentality and high numbers are a reliable source for early advantages. Bounty Hunt takes the same layout, but emphasizes self-preservation, with every kill accumulating money that must be deposited to count as a team score, with each death cutting the undeposited cash total by half. The twist is, the bank is only open periodically, creating a mad dash every couple of minutes. Both conclude with an epilogue, where the losing team is tasked with locating an escape ship while the winners hunt them down. These modes showcase the sublime blind gunplay, with snappy sights and gratifying presentational feedback. There's hardly any recoil in Titanfall 2's weapons. If someone's in your rifle or pistol scope, it's almost certain they'll be hit. While shotguns and sniper rifles provide their own obstacle and distance, taking down a target is fairly easy. The real challenge comes in keeping up with opposing pilots, as player movement allows for a variety of approaches that can be changed on the fly. A useful tactic in the amped hardpoint mode, where teams must stand near destinations to accumulate team points. Dominated locations can be further amped creating an additional buffer, but nimble pilots can quickly cross the entire map, leaving matches in flux, a handy attribute in the hardpoint and capture the flag modes. Wall running from structure to structure is liberating, with off-ground travel being slightly faster, but the limited momentum requires players to skillfully leap towards a nearby wall. Double jumping into the air gives a clear view of the battlefield, but leaves pilots vulnerable to incoming attacks, and sliding enables a much-needed boost into cover. Titanfall 2's movement and controls are perfectly complex and demanding, without ever becoming frustrating. Much of this is due to the intelligently laid out maps, providing a number of options at every corner. Moving from indoors to rooftops can be done in an instant. These several environments compensate numerous different playstyles and invite vertical travel. And yet, they're still suited for Titan combat. Outside of the pilot's only mode, each match type features unlockable giant robots. As the game progresses, a Titan percentage is slowly accumulated, with kills and achievements speeding up the process, incentivizing performance. Once dropped, a Titan can function as a powerful AI ally, or a game-changing player-controlled weapon. These weighty mechs function very differently from their human counterparts, but their features are every bit as elaborate. The handful of selectable mech types feature unique weapons such as shotguns and swords, high-powered machine guns, and my personal favorite, chargeable railguns. Personal customization can make all the difference. For example, I give my railgun Titan an extra boost, granting it the ability to quickly dash around corners to avoid incoming fire. Last Titan Standing puts these behemoths front and center, where two teams of five do combat without respawns. Humans can continue the fight after their mech explodes, encouraging players to attack with high-powered sidearms or climb onto enemies for a devastating attack. But once the final Titan is destroyed, the match concludes, forcing these hulking machines into strategic warfare. Titanfall 2's sense of scale is always impressive, 
revisiting areas from the Titan's towering perspective gives a new appreciation for the well-crafted level design. Sadly, there is one online clunker in the one-on-one -on -one Coliseum. Here, players face off in a small, unobscured environment with powerful but slow weapons. This usually results in pilots repeatedly jumping in the air until one gets a lucky kill. While there are extra bonus unlockables, this mode requires in-game currency to play. It's a strange and misguided effort. Graphically, Titanfall 2 looks fairly good, with an impressive lighting engine and realistic urban cities, but it's the constant 60 frames per second that sell its chaotic atmosphere. Whether launching into the air from a doomed titan, witnessing a giant robot fight, or taking on a group of opponents, the performance never dips, and these reliable technical specs keep the speedy gameplay deeply engaging. So, is it worth it? Yes. In a word, Titanfall 2 is polished. From the responsive movement to the balanced weapons, clever map design, and consistent performance, empowering single player and skillful online matches, nearly every aspect is undeniably solid. Anyone looking for a quick hit shooter that's hard to put down will find Titanfall 2 as exceptional as it is addictive. Titanfall 2 is currently available on the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC for $60. If you've had a chance to play it, let me know what you thought. And if you haven't, let me know if you plan on picking it up. My name is Colin Tanner, and I'll see you in the next video.